come to Milano. Milano is a beautiful city, full of hidden places, well preserved, but hidden. We're going to go first thing in the morning, of course, uh, uh, to get the Café Cookie, which one is, is my, really my favorite coffee place. And uh, it's uh, very close to the center, very close to the Duomo, uh, in Corso Genova. Uh, it's uh, an old spot and it's the best quality breakfast you can have. Uh, come with me inside, please. We have uh, 20 kinds of brioche and I want, I want what I want today, a small one really, <laughs> a, mi a mini cream one, it's, you know, everything I allow myself, even if the temptation is very big, and uh, we can have a coffee, uh, can choose also from 20 different kinds of coffees, but I like the straight one, you know, basic, so we don't have an espresso. This cafe has a long history. Uh, it started in the 30s, like a ca uh, Café Chantant. It's, uh, they were dancing uh, tango here with an orchestra, and uh, after they danced uh, the, the Foxtrot, then uh, the war arrived and it was bombed. It served uh, as a bomb shelter during the war, and uh, he also served as a, a food base for the English army that were liberating Milan. So this cafe has had many lives. It's kept in the same family for all these years. This is Mr. Cookie. He's here every morning, every day. Well, it's like a family here. It's, uh, it's just, you know, we couldn't do without him. You know, so, <laughs> grazie Mr. Cookie. <laughs> We're driving now to one of my favorite galleries, Jacopo Foggini. I love his work. He's uh, really a cross between uh, um, art and design. Uh, you know, Milano is a uh, capital of design. So funny, we arrived at the Jacopus Gallery, this little wonderland. And uh, I love all these pieces. It's something I've been following for years. And uh, it's an amazing secret he keeps, something you know, he invented a few years ago. And uh, tell us about a little bit how it started. But the story, it's, uh, it's very simple. When I was very young, like uh, five, six years ago, I went to this industry of my family and I, I saw this material, which was like a, like a glass. So my imagination start uh, from this moment to imagine one day to try to find a way to express my uh, ideas. I love all this work because he kind of represents uh, uh, the nature world. So it's like the sea, the fishes, the, the, the medusas. You know, all these elements that come from nature and they become incredibly uh, beautiful, always with the light inside, and the light is so important. So it's the fantastic. greatest things is that you can do with this material uh, huge things that which with the glass uh, could be yeah, sure. impossible. This is my favorite spot of the gallery, the black room. With all this bright sun looking at you, it's quite special to be in here. It's amazing how the, the material comes through with the light and uh, all these colors. You know, all these pieces are unique. You know, they cannot be made twice, so that it's quite special. We're now in Brera, the former art uh, district, and now the big fashion one. You know, all around here there are the big shops of Armani, Dolce Gabbana, Moschino, Todd's, 
everybody's here and everybody knows their shops where they are. But today we'll take you to a very precious little vintage shop, Cavalli and Nastri, here. And uh, come with me because you discover something special today. This is the best vintage shop of Milan, one of the most creative in terms of merchandising and, and product. Look at this fantastic green dress. It's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. The shop is so fantastic because it has so much beautiful uh, accessories. Uh, you have full arts, you have uh, jewelry, belts. Look at this beautiful, fantastic um, coral uh, fake uh, Sicilian bracelet. Uh, or uh, pins from the 40s from the United States in metal. They're beautiful. Look, they're so happy looking. I love this shop, the way the merchandise, because they, they do it like it was a real clothing shop. It's not like selling vintage here. It's selling a trend. It's selling uh, uh, something that's going to inspire people and designer um, for the next year. Look at this dress. This could go you know, on a Moschino show. Or these roses could be, you know, Dolce Gabbana, a new concept. Fashion is everywhere in Milan, but uh, behind the fashion is really a lot of vintage. This place is really special. Yeah, Try the pepper with banana. Yeah. This is spicy. You know, it looks some sort of like a space map or something. Hi everybody, and welcome to Milan. Milan is my city. I've been here for all my life. I choose to visit with you a brand new restored villa, an old villa from the 30s. It's called uh, Villa Necchi Campiglio, which was made by architetto Piero Portaluppi, and probably is the beginning of the Italian and Milanese design and architectural style. All starts from here in the 30s, and then the design goes on. So come with me and let's see what's inside. So, here we are in the conservatory. The conservatory is very modern for the time because this is sort of a villa in the center of Milan. You can enjoy from here the beautiful garden we have and also the color of the, of the sofa, the S sofa, is the same color of the garden. At the, in the walls, we have a lot of um, beautiful pieces of art bring from a very important collector Claudia Gianferrari, all the restoring was very, very precise and now the villa is exactly as it was in 1935. Okay, here we are. We are going up to the first floor on this beautiful stairs and beautiful wall made by walnut. Here we have another beautiful statue called the Dead Lover made in 1921 and now I'm gonna take you to the, one of my favorite place on the villa. Okay, this, this is the bathroom, one of my preferred place and one of the intimate place of the villa, of the house. We have the shower here, very modern for the era, for the 30s, with a hydro massage. And the architecture is still here very typical of the architect, uh, Piero Portaluppi, very rationalist. And what do you have here? 
We have some brushes made by Tartles with golden initials of the owner. I love it because it's a really true, rich bathroom of an old Italian villa. Okay, 